welcome you to the Ask Jeff YouTube channel. Here's today's question. Why are there so many denominations when there's only one gospel? Boy, is that not only an insightful question, but that is a common concern of so many people, both believers and non-believers, and really a justifiable question. It is absolutely true. There's only one gospel. There's only one means to salvation. There's only one way to heaven, and that is Jesus Christ. And one day, when I breathe my last breath and I stand before God himself, I'm not going to stand there as a Baptist. You're not going to stand there as a Methodist or whatever denominational affiliation that you commonly or presently possess. So the question is, so why are there so many different denominations? Well, when you go back in history, humanity, I know this may surprise you, please note my gift of sarcasm, has this innate ability to have disagreements. In fact, we disagree when it comes to food. We disagree when it comes to sports. We disagree when it comes to politics. We disagree on everything. And guess what? Even when it comes to our faith. When you really get down to it, why do we have so many different denominations? It boils down to how do different people, or shall we say groups of people, view Scripture? They'll take a variety of scriptures and they want to apply them a certain way or interpret them this way. And so therefore, uh, you will have a Baptist, a Methodist, and a Presbyterian who all of them practice what we know as baptism, but they all do it in three different ways. They look at those scriptures about being baptized and one will submerge or dunk, one will sprinkle, and one will effuse and or pour. And that's just a simple example of about a major issue that you would think that everybody would be on the same page, but they're just not. And so at the end of the day, there's not a Presbyterian section of heaven, a Methodist section, a Pentecostal section, a Baptist section, a this section, a that section. We are all children of God through Jesus Christ. The denominations that we have expressed are how they, quote, live out that faith or practice it here on earth. Now, can I ask a question that wasn't asked, but I'm going to anyway. So why am I quote-unquote, a part of a Baptist church. Well, I want you to know something. I really don't take pride in being a Baptist. I'm desiring to be a biblicist. My goal is to be as biblically accurate as I can be in my life as possible. And there is no perfectly biblical denomination. You heard it. The Baptists aren't perfect, and neither is anybody else. However, historically, the Baptist church has historically uh, strived for biblical accuracy. We, we battle each other over inerrancy and infallibility. In fact, one of the great history books of Baptists is called People of the Book. So at the end of the day, there's a lot of different denominations. But let me challenge you, no matter what your background is, no matter what your present denominational affiliation, or maybe you're one of those non-denominationals, can we just strive to be biblicist no matter what the title on the door is? Thank you so much for your question. If you want to ask a question about this question or any other question, please submit it to askjeff.net and maybe your question will be tomorrow. Thanks for being a part of today's daily question. Now, we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at askjeff.net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day.